Hi, it's Chrissy's Corner for Collectors, and I have a crafting video. So it's Saturday afternoon, it's Arizona, so it's very hot outside. We've got all our chores done, and our little dog had surgery, so she's kind of hanging out and sleeping. So I thought I would do some crafting. I actually got some time to do some crafting. So I just want to bring you into my weird and wild world of crafting and show you what I'm doing. So we have a two sales coming up this summer, um, Christmas in July and um, Summerween. And they're collaborations with other sellers. So I wanted to start getting, so I have plenty of Christmas stuff. There's no doubt about that. But I wanted to start getting some Halloween stuff done. And I really do like to do my assemblages. So I'm working on one right now. So I thought I would show you what I'm working on and how, how I'm working on it. So I found this at the Goodwill. Basically, it was like African art under a dome. So this is my studio, just so you know. And my crafting studio. So it came like this. And it was just three carved heads of wood. So I looked at it and I thought, oh, you know what? That would be really cool as shrunken heads. So, believe it or not, the dome is not glass. It's plastic. I didn't know. I mean, I think it's plastic. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I'm treating it with gentle hands. So what I did was um, I painted everything with like a foggy white color. Um, I got some pictures of shrunken heads. I don't know what I did with them, but I'd like to put them up on my easel over here, which you can't see. I'll turn it just a little bit so that I can look at what I'm making. So I got some hair from a doll. It's another whole long story. And we just had our palms um, cut down. And so there's this like fiber so I took some of that. I have to go get some more if I can find some more, but they cleaned up so well, I couldn't get any extra. So the first thing I did was um, I painted the masks white, like this, uh, what's it called, fog white? Let me see, it's called fog gray. So it's just a, a real like pale gray color. And I put a bottom coat of that. Then I took my dry clay. I have clay that's air dry and I made the sticks, the poles that they were on, to look like bark. So it needed a day to dry, so I just kind of covered them with the clay, let them dry, so that they kind of look like bark. So what this is gonna end up looking like is there's gonna be sand, like it's an island. Um, I wanna see if I can make a shield. I gotta think that out. I have a broken sign here that I'm painting over right now. And this is gonna say like, beware. And that's gonna be in the sand. I've got a little crab for the sand. And then um, maybe a spear if I can work that through. I don't know, we'll have to see. So right now I took, everything was dried. So I painted a light color of brown on the bark. And then I took some chalk, uh, chalk paint which is what I'm using right now. And I'm just kind of, I filled in the eyes. I don't do a lot of crafting videos, so. Okay, so I filled in the eyes with black and I'm gonna have a, um, I'm gonna kind of put like an X on it. I'm gonna see if I can find something that looks like string because the shrunken heads that I saw in pictures that string, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So what I'm doing right now is I painted it white, I painted the black, and now I'm going over with this like chalky color. The chalky color is going to do a couple things. It's going to give some definition to the face, like some texture, and it's cleaning up any edges that of black that I kind of hand shook or whatever. My hands do shake. I can't help it. So I'm just kind of painting over that. So it's not going to really be um, hard to do this, 
but it's going to be fun. Now on the, the sign, I think I'm going to put, um, I don't know if I want to put beware or like, I don't know, cannibal tribe or something. I don't know. I, I don't know what I really want to put on the sign yet. So I'm kind of playing with that in my head. But I'm just cleaning up the lines around the eyes. They look kind of spooky, don't they? They almost look like aliens. I was going to turn them into aliens. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I couldn't figure out what to do with their body. And I really didn't feel like doing a lot of sculpting. I just I didn't want to do a lot of sculpting. So this will be for sale. In Summerween. Now, what's going to make this is, I'm going to give it a black wash here in just a second. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm not too worried about the spaces on the bottom because we're going to have like grasses and stuff coloring that in. So I just want to get another coat of this on here. And I don't care about the back because it's going to be covered with hair. So, and I'm also wondering, I mean, they're shrunken heads, so they've been out in the sun for a while. So I'm wondering if I need to put some blood on the posts. I'm thinking not, but I don't know. Because when blood dries, it's dark. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still playing with this a little bit in my head, which is kind of dangerous, but, you know. So I have here, um, I've been organizing this studio for a while, and I don't have a lot of storage here, but I have a lot of stuff to make all my assemblages with. So what I've been doing is picking up um, baskets, which you can't really see, but, um, well here, I'll turn this right here. So you see these three baskets, can you see them? Right there, right there. So in them, one is Halloween, one is Easter items, and one is numbers and letters and doilies. So whenever I want to make something, I have lots of supplies, lots of supplies. So that this chalk paint will feel a little chalky, which is kind of what I want for this. Um, and I learned about the chalk paint from Hope. So Hope came over and showed me how to use the chalk paint, and I so appreciated that she showed me all that and turned me on to chalk paint which is a little expensive but um it lasts a while so i'm not worried about that okay i don't want to get too close to this the lips on this guy because his lips came out pretty good I don't want to overdo it, you know? So with this, this chalk paint, I put a little bit of brown tint in it because I want it to look like sand. I'm going to put more and put sand on here when I'm ready. I'm not quite ready for that. Okay. That part's done. All right. Now the next part is I want to put a black... No. I want to put a gray wash on it. That's what I want to do. So how am I going to do that? So I have a little bit of black paint and my chalk paint, right? I think what I'm going to do is mix this together to make a gray. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I want it to be a light gray. So this is the chalk paint. I think I want it to be a little lighter. Just a little bit lighter. Gotta be careful it doesn't turn purple on me. Okay, now I'm gonna add this to some dirty water I have from the from the brushes. My glue gun is right in the middle of everything. Get that out of the way. Okay. I also always have a wet rag here 
Um, this desk is a table actually, that's like a bar table. So I have a piece of heavy duty um, cardboard and then this plastic like mat on it. It's a, it's a hot mess, but that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take this wash And take this wash and I want it to drip down the masks again I'm not worried about the bottom we're gonna cover that so I need let's see what kind of brush do I need I think I want like a little foam brush there we go. foam brush so I'm gonna get some water and I'm gonna just let it go and fill in all the cracks and kind of give it some dimension there. And I want it to go down the tree bark too. And it's just water, so it'll dry very quickly. And it's just kind of filling in little spots to give it a little bit of dimension, especially on the tree bark. And I have this Lazy Susan I bought at the Goodwill, which really is helpful with crafts because I can put it up high if I need it up higher. And while I'm painting, I just turn it everything. Okay, oh, that looks good. All right, now we need a little bit of black wash. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a little bit more gray. So I put the gray on there, but I think I want a little bit more gray on the tree trunk. So I'm gonna kind of like hit it in spots, not everywhere, just kind of dabbing it around. And give it that tree bark color. And the best part will be the black wash. So this really, I mean, what took the longest with this was making the um, wood for the branches. Okay. So now, this is how it looks. And it just kind of muted everything, just a little bit. So I guess the next thing, I guess the next thing is to do black wash. But it's not really gonna be a wash, it's gonna be a rub. So let me get my rub out. Put that back. Um, I really need, I really need, so it's just a wax that Hope showed me. So basically you just take a little bit and you really don't need a lot. So you gotta take off some of that. And I'm just rubbing it here and there. On the bark of the tree. Can you see that I'm doing that? Can you see it? Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit more on my finger. Dry my finger a little bit, because this is wax. A little bit of wax, and I'm just kind of hitting it in spots. And the wax will dry and then it won't, um, you won't be able to take it off, so. Okay, so I'll show you the back here. To show you a little bit so you can see this guy. So you see when I hit it with the black, how it gives it a little, fills in a little bit. And it almost kind of looks like the tree's been charred. Which is kind of neat, I think, anyway. Now, there is a spot here that I don't like. We're going to fill that in. There we go. 
in right there too. Okay. So this studio here is in the afternoon. It does get kind of hot. The sun is coming around the side of the house. So I've got my fan going. So if it's hard to hear me, again, I don't do a lot of crafting videos. So this is kind of new to me. So, okay. Move that around a little bit. And again, I'm just kind of giving it some color and moving stuff around. Moving colors around. Okay. That looks kind of good. I'm not going to lie. Alright, so I guess the next thing is to clean this up and maybe do the sand since the paint is still a little wet. So let me put you guys on hold and grab the sand. So I wasn't really happy with the um, with the wash. So I put another black wash on there before I'm doing the sand. Just because it just didn't look dark enough to me. Oh, sugar. So before I put the sand, I didn't want it to stain the sand. So I'm putting a little bit more of a black wash, which is just black paint and lots of water. It just it just didn't wasn't melting for me. If that makes any sense to anybody. So and then I'm just letting it drip down the um, bark and fill in where it has to fill in. And that I like better. I'm liking that much better. That's what it needed. I'm not sure if I want to do the face though. I'm not sure. I mean, shrunken. I think I'm going to do the face. I'm going to do the face. All right, you ready? Here we go. The worst thing is, is it doesn't look good. I'll just repaint it. Okay, so, but I'm, I'm going to make it a little more gray. So basically, I'm going to put it right on and paint it over and let it drip down. Ooh, that kind of gives them a little ooh, eerie look. I like it. Oh, that looks good. Make sure you get everything covered. And let the water drip into all the crevices. And then what I'm going to do is take my wet washcloth and just pat it. Just the face. I don't care about the, the um, I'm just going to pat most of that off. good that looks good okay we're gonna do the sand next because I'm, I'm happy with the trees the way they are I'm happy with the faces the way they are so we're gonna do the sand and get that done since we're not gonna have anything else dripping onto the sand so with the sand I have sand um, I have a little bit of chalk paint left and but I, I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna use the chalk paint what I'm going to use is the Mod Podge. Yeah. So I need a brush. Kind of a stiff brush. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to use this stiff brush. Move my little palette out of the way. And I have my Mod Podge right here. Almost out of that. Oh, goodness. Okay, so basically I'm just going to take the, well, okay, I know what I'm going to do, hold up, because there's going to be sand everywhere, so I'm going to use the bottom of my glue uh, gun pan and put that right in there, beautiful, okay, so I'm going to take my Mod Podge, and I'm going to start applying it, and I want to make sure I don't get it in that groove because I want the lid to fit back on here. So I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. And I'm kind of making a little wrench with the glue. I'm going to take a little sand. 
I'm going to sprinkle that all over. So I painted the bottom like a sand color. So if it doesn't cover all the way, it's still got the color underneath. You know? And I'm just sprinkling it like I'm sprinkling salt and pepper. Okay? Get some more. We'll go to the next area here. And dab that on, and dab it on, and dab it on. So the Mod Podge, because there's, it's still a little damp, the Mod Podge is good for that. It'll, um, because you know you can dilute Mod Podge anyway. So I'm putting more sand on the bottom. And this is going to take a while. And I'm not going to bore you guys with this whole thing. But... I also have some really tiny shells that I can put on here, like a little shell on here too. So that'll look kind of neat. More Mod Podge. I'm feeling very deep too with the Mod Podge. Oh, this is looking really good. I'm glad I did what I did. I'm glad I put the black wash on. That made me very happy. I may put another wash over top of a, a white, just a barely, but I'm not sure yet. So, I mean, you just I kind of just go with what I feel at the time. Like I don't have a line or reason to anything. I know, hard to believe, but I don't. And then, um. I just think it's kind of fun to do this. Oh, look, I almost put my fingers in the glue. So this pan is going to pick up all the extras, and I'll take it outside and shake it out. Because why? Because I live in the desert, and there's tons of sand outside. Which kills me that I had to go buy this sand. But the sand here by our house is a little dusty. I didn't want to use the dusty stuff. Now, over here, there's a little space under this bark, and I want it to build up so that the sand is not just kind of flat. So I'm going to put it, I put it a little deeper here, if that makes sense when I say deeper. So it's covering, and I'm going to fill in wherever I can with the goppy, goopy. Mod Podge. So after this, um, so I finished Clive. I got Clive out of the way. So my next project is It. I got two miniature It's and I'm going to make something with them. I haven't quite decided yet. What? Oh, and cockroaches. I have some cockroaches too. So. I know what I'm doing with the cockroaches, but I just don't know what I'm doing with the it yet. But it's okay. It's okay. And Billy's sitting behind me, he's probably thinking she has lost her absolute goddamn mind. And that's okay. I have. I've lost it. Totally. Okay, I'm not going to keep showing you the rest of the sand, but you can kind of see how it's coming along. It's going to take me a little bit to do this. So I'm gonna get, let you guys take a break and then I'll come back and show you the result. Okay, so while I was gone, um, the the um, sand is dried, I cleaned off all my brushes, and I got the hair out that I'm gonna use. So let me tell you about the hair that I have that I use. So first, let me show you the sand. Dump this out. So there's all the extra sand coming off. And there's no sand anywhere. So there they are. They're good. Okay. So now we're going to do the hair. So for the hair, if you've watched any of my videos, you might know that I took a doll apart, had Billy take a doll apart for an ear 
it's a long story, don't worry. So I took the hair off of the doll. So I have this synthetic hair that's brown. Okay. And like the doll was like a dollar forty nine to Goodwill. So if you're somebody who makes dolls and doll hair is expensive. So I have that kind of hair. Then I have some real llama gray hair. So I'm thinking I want to put one or two strands of the gray in that, mix that in. And then I have the palm fibers. So what I've been doing is pulling the fibers apart to get these like stringy pieces. And then basically we're going to take these stringy pieces and I'm going to glue them right up here along with the other hair. And I'm just going to glue, so remember we painted the back brown, so when the hair is laying there you're not going to really see it because it's going to be kind of thick. So, and I've got quite a bit of this stuff, I think. I think I have enough. But I'm not, I'm going to do mostly the synthetic hair and then this just for, you know, texture. So we're going to see how this goes. The worst thing is we take it off, we don't like it. So let's start. So we're going to go back to the Mod Podge. The reason I'm going to use the Mod Podge for this is because it's thick. I can, you know, kind of pat it down. And then the hair can, I can rearrange the hair. It won't get hard right away, right? The other thing I wanted to show you was the crab. So I got this little plastic crab in a good little bag. And so I kind of put some texture and color on him. He's going to go kind of like this, like that. And then I made this little sign that I texturized. And this is an old stamp. I don't know where it's from, but it's an old stamp. So I thought I would put that on there and then um, maybe like um, tear the edges so it looks tattered. And then that's going to be the sign. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But And then I broke the sign, so I have to broke it. And I did some black wash to make it look weathered on the sign, too. Okay. So right now, that's all I have for decorations is the crab. Where did I get the crab? Oh, the crab and the sign. And then I have some seashells that I can put on here, too. But I don't know that I'm going to need the seashells. So, all right, so let's get this first part going here. So I'm going to get my hodgepodge, hodgepodge out. Hodgepodge, hodgepodge. And I think I'll start with this little guy first. So I'm going to take some of the Mod Podge. And I'm kind of going to just put it like this on the top of his head, just like that. And then I'm going to take and if it's too long we can always cut it so it's not a big deal so I'm going to take a little bit of this synthetic a couple strands of the palm fiber and one little strand of this gray I'm going to kind of put it together I'm going to twist that around a little bit so they kind of sit together I'm going to cut the edge off. Well, no, I'm not going to cut the edge off yet. We'll trim it. So I'm going to lay that right in the Mod Podge glue. And this is the first time doing this, so it may work, it may not. So what I may have to do is put it on there and put some glue on top of it to kind of get it to sit. Hmm. Is that going to work? I don't know. I'm thinking this hair is too heavy for it. Maybe I just need to cut the hair so it's not pulling it. So cut the hair. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. This is not working. So I think I need to glue it down in the back to make it. Yeah. Let's 
so I'm going to get the Mod Podge. So see, I mean, like, again, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm playing with it. It'll work. I mean, it's supposed to look a little messy, right? Okay, so what I did was I put some Mod Podge on the back. Staying. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I do have to use the hot glue to start it. I'm not sure. Let me think, let me think on this a second, and I'll come back. Okay, I give this some thought. So I took some of the pieces of this um, palm bark, and I think what I'm gonna do is glue that on first to the back with hot glue. Okay, and then I'll help hide it, and I'll also help spread the hair out. And then, so I got three pieces of that. And then we'll slowly add the hair to the back. But do you see how it's going to um, it'll kind of hang down the back? It'll almost look like hair. So I think that's a good idea for that. I'm just waiting for my glue gun to heat up a little bit. So we'll try that. And then, again, I keep pulling some of this bark apart because I'm going to use it as hair. So I want it to be stringy. And crazy and then the last thing except for the embellishments like the little embellishments is to figure out um, how to get the eye to look like it's sewn shut so I gotta go back and look at my pictures I gotta find my pictures of my shrunken heads so see how it's fibery looking hair so it'll be on top of that and it'll kind of be like all over the place and then we can figure out our crab and then our sign if we want to use the stamp or not or if we want to put a sign that says beware don't lose your head that's kind of funny and then i think i might like to have a spear so i'll have to think of something well, i have this this is a piece of um the bottom of a a piece of flower floral that I cut off so it can fit in the box so I thought maybe I could use this and cut this top and then make a little spear and wrap it so I might use that too so I'm not sure all right so we're just waiting for this glue gun let's see if it's ready Ew. still cold what did I do? Oh. Oh, it's getting warmer. Okay. So while I'm waiting for that, I can still pull some of this fibers. So, you know, you can use stuff around your yard that's, you know, make stuff and use stuff. This is going to be great because it'll look really like grabby hair kind of so it's going to be kind of neat and then mixed in with the so what I'm going to do I think is make like little packages and then lay them on top like that and then layer it <clears throat> but I think it came out pretty good um I'm excited I'm really excited this face with that little there go. all right all right, are we ready? I think we are. Okay, so I should have three pieces. One, two, and um, where's my third piece? Is that it? Three. Okay, so let's get one of these on. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this top one first. So basically, I'm gonna put some glue. Oh, I should show you something that I have bought. 
Okay. All right, so there, see how I have it on there? Just like that. I bought this, if you're, if you're ever in a Goodwill bag, where it is now? Oh, here. Um, if you come across any of these, these are great for gluing because the glue won't stick and you don't burn your hand. So that's good. Okay, so I guess let's start with that top one. So we need some hair. We want to make like a little package. So we want some of this. And some more of the fake hair. String that together. Try to keep the ends together. And maybe another piece of fake hair. I have more of this. I just. And I want to try to get the strings, the ends together, because I want to try to put it all together. I'll show you how this little sucker works here in a second. Okay, where's my gray hair? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple pieces of the gray hair. Okay, so there's a little clump of hair, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to trim it or do anything to it. So I'm going to start here at the top. I'm going to put just a dab of glue right there. Take this hair and my little spatula and press it. Oh, that's going to be good. That's good. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Okay. But the spatula keeps me from burning my fingers. All right, let's do another piece. So we need some fake hair. Some of this stringy stuff. What's also kind of cool about the stringy stuff is in that something from my house is coming to whoever buys this, this house. I think it's kind of neat. And I'm going to trim this hair. It's a little long. put those pieces up there and we're going to get the glue we're going to put another dot right next to it get my my hair and press it to the glue oh this looks good look at that look at that so this is going to be a little bit time consuming Let's put this piece of hair here. So yeah, if you can get yourself one of these silicone things. Um, I forget where I saw this, somebody used this, but it's the best thing, it saved my fingertips. It really works good. So look, I want you to see the front. Look at the front of the hair sticking out. It's funny. This is kind of neat. Okay. <clears throat> and I want it to look crazy. I want it to look messy and crazy. Now that little piece of glue I don't want on there. Ow, that's still hot. Okay, let's put this piece on the other one. So we're gonna do glue, piece, and spatula. God, that saves my fingertips. That is the best thing. Whoever thought of that is a genius. Super genius. Okay. I'm going to take out the... Separate the hair from the, the spider webs. Okay. Let's put another little piece on there. So we want to take some hair piece. Some fiber. Some gray, where's the gray? And we twist the top together a little bit so it's all together. Turn that off. Okay. Put that 
glue, hair, and smush. Okay. Oh, their hair is crazy. All right, now you get another little piece. So this is kind of a funky little piece right here. Well, I want that to go right in there. I don't want the glue to be seen, so... I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to hold off on that. Okay. Let's do another patch. So, let's see. Fake hair. Fake hair. So this is the part that's going to be kind of time-consuming. to get all this together here. And let's get another piece of fiber like that. Okay, turn you around. Okay, so now this fiber is kind of long. I'm going to cut that back. That looks good right there. Now, I've got to kind of like get it shaped a little bit because I don't want it to run into the others. So I think we're going to put a little bit more of the fake And I think I might do. I've got plenty of the fake hair, so I think this piece might be just all fake hair. Okay. And dollop hair and push. There we go. Now we're coming together here. Some of this looks like hair, but it's really glue strings. So those we gotta get rid of. They don't look right. I feel like I'm a hair person, hair beautician. All right, so this is gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna work on this. And uh, if I come across any problems, I'll come back on here and show you. Okay, I'm back for another day. Um, this video is taking longer than I thought, but I have just not had the time this week to do anything with this project. So I have like two hours before work and I thought I made myself a cup of coffee. Let's get some of this done. So as you know, I'm making a shrunken head out of a piece of African art that I got at the Goodwill. I painted it. I put some sand on the bottom with some Mod Podge and then I've been taking fake doll's hair and pieces of this fiber from my palm tree and adding it as the hair, as you can see. So um, it's very time staking to put all this hair on. So I don't wanna bore you with that and you saw how I did some of that. I found a good technique on how to do it. So the next couple pieces will should be a little easier to do, but and I do want it to look a little scraggly looking. So, but what I thought I would do for you today is show you. So I think I told you I made a, I have a little plastic crab that's going to go on here somehow. Because I wanted to have like an irony theme. And then I have, get rid of my tools here. And then I have a, um, a, a 
sign that I broke the stick of and I weathered it a little bit and I'm gonna have something on the sign. I do have a stamp that kind of looks Polynesian, I guess, but I don't know if I really like the, that, so I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with that. But some people have said to me, how about a spear? And I thought that's a good idea. So I'm going to work on the spear right now and show you how I do that. And then I'll do the hair at another time. Okay, so for the spear, I'm going to use some dry clay, some clay that air dries. Now, in the past, I've always bought some modeling clay that you bake, okay? And I liked it, but um, this is so much easier to do. But you have to have the time to let it dry, so. All right, so let me pull you down here. So this is what I use. It's by Crayola Air Dry Clay. That's what I use. And as long as you keep the lid on, it does not dry up. And then I have my sculpting tools in here. So, I also, one day at the Goodwill, found some plexiglass pieces, and I leave the plastic on the one side, and then I um, do my modeling on the other side because after it dries, it won't stick, okay? You can use a piece of glass too, whichever you like to do. Um, and I've got my coffee. Voila. Hmm. Good. Okay. So we're going to make a spear. So the first thing I did was I went out and I found a twig. Um, actually, I did find a twig, but it didn't work out what I wanted. So I had cut the end off of a floral piece so I could fit it into my bucket. And um, so I think I'm going to use that. So this piece on the end has some wire showing, so we're gonna get rid of that piece. Because it's wrapped in this like fat, uh, like paper. So it kind of looks like tree bark. I'm gonna make it uh, some design on it, but. Okay. So I cut that out. Well, I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Huh, what the heck is going on with that? Oh, I did, okay. It just didn't come off. Okay, so, anyway. So, there is the rod for my spear. So, I'm gonna get a little bit of clay, and I'm gonna make a spear, and then I'm gonna um, put it, well, I'll show you. So, I don't think I need a lot of this. That's way more than I'll need, but I, I like to have a little bit out when I'm playing with it. And I put my lid back on right away, keep it from drying out. Okay. So um, the first thing I know is I want to knead this all together. And I'm thinking in my head of a, um, like an uh, arrowhead. So I know it's going to be um, triangular and I'm going to start by making it a little bit bigger because I can always tailor that okay so I have like a little triangle going here you can see that triangle right there so I'm gonna kind of I'm turning it into the middle here a little so I want it to be a little bit pointier and do that with my fingers and then I think I want it to go in a little bit here okay so can you see what I'm doing there so I got it pointy and then I kind of went in here and that is the part that's probably gonna wrap around here now uh, I have, for things like this, I have a piece of styrofoam somewhere, I don't know where I put it, put it somewhere, that I can kind of stick this in when I'm working on it, but, um, I'll get it in a little bit. I don't need it right now yet. Okay, so I'm going to get my carving tools, and I'm going to start by cutting the sides down so that they're sharper. 
And I don't need this big piece back here, so we can get rid of that. Take that right off. And I do want it to be a little primitive looking. So I do need to thin it out a little bit more. And I do want it to look like it's kind of flaked. So I'm going to make these little indents around the outside. And I'm going to pull back the clay to make it thinner. So I'm going to pull it backwards. And this tool you can kind of scrape with. Because again, I, I do want it to be thinner. And you're going to say to me, well, you just lost your, your design. No, I didn't. I'm going to layer it. So this is going to go in, and I'm going to kind of roll it a little bit, so I can get it nice and even. Alright, so I'm going to push the sides in a little bit, and then in like that. So I will let this dry for a good day before I do anything and paint it or anything. And I'm going to kind of taper the sides down a little bit, almost like a, a blade because really that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to put it right in there and I'll take a little bit of clay. So what I'll do is after I've painted this and gotten it put all together, I'm going to take some colored um, like uh, embroidery uh, thread and I'm going to wrap the um, the stem in a um, like a tribal colors and, and a design. I'm going to look it up and see what would work best. Okay, so I should have. So this is a rubber tip uh, that is not a paintbrush. So it's just to help mold this a little bit and it really helps to put the clay together. So when I make these things, I really try to put as much detail as I can. Sometimes I, I get a little preoccupied and I don't pay as close attention to detail as I should, but it, in the most part I do. I really try really hard to um, make it as realistic as I can. So, okay, I kind of like that. I think that needs to be smoothed out a little bit. I can smooth that out. All right, I want a cutter. That's a little, no. All right. So I'm going to, the bottom is going to be that. That's how what, down, far down I'm going to go. I'm going to flatten the bottom a little bit. You know, one of the things that I have found crafting and doing all of this is um, it's very relaxing to me. Now, generally I'll have music playing, but I can't do that when I'm doing a video because of the copyrights. But generally I'll have music playing and it's very soothing for me. 
Um, and it might not even be that the music is soothing. It's just, I'm not looking at my phone. I'm not watching TV. I'm really separating myself from electronics. You need to have some downtime, you really do. So if you don't have a hobby, you need to find one. And it's okay to try different ones until you find the one that really gives you joy. With this dioramas that I make, it, it's a little bit of painting and sculpting and paper and it's a little bit of everything. So that's what I kind of like about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So remember I said I wanted these sides to go in. So I'm going to cut this out a little bit. Let me make that cut a little bit more pronounced, more of like an arrowhead. I like it. Okay, can you see how it's going? <clears throat> so get the stick here and I'm making it look like an arrowhead. Now it still looks to me like it's a little too big so I'm gonna do some more cutting down on this um, I know this is probably boring the heck out of you. That's why I don't like to do crafting videos because I feel like I have to talk through the whole thing. And all right, so we're gonna make this just slightly sharper. I'm kind of liking the way it's looking already. Um, this cutout, I'm not sure I like that big of a cutout now that it's, I've got this going here, but let me, let me, um, let me do a little bit more here. Actually, I kind of like that it has a little, I think I might leave that. smooth this back here. I want I want there to kind of be an edge so I'm gonna do this down here and do this down here. Remember, it's not going to be absolutely perfect. These these folks have been making stuff with stone for many, many years, and although that they work well, they're not going to be absolutely perfect because you, it's not industrial made; it's human made. So it's okay if there's a couple little spots here and there. So I'm kind of making this side to be like a little hook. And now I'm going to take my rubber tip piece and I'm going to clean up the edges. 
and smoothed out. That's what this is really for, for smoothing out. So, okay, so I said I was going to do the spear, which is done now. All it has to do is dry and then I have to paint it. So I said I was going to do the spear. And then I said um, to figure out something for the string for the eyes and for the mouth, which is fine. And then um, I have a shell or two I might put on the sand. And then I think it'll be done. I don't think it's going to need much more. I think I want it pretty plain and not like hokey, if that's a word. And I think the tip needs to be a little sharper, a little pointier. Let me try to make it a little bit pointier. So um, I think this is going to be the last installation of um, me showing you how I craft this. I think that, I think you kind of get the point and I don't really think that, um, for me to wait to finish it to show you the last picture, I think it's going to take forever because, you know, there's just so much going on with me, but, um, I think you kind of got the idea. And then if you want to see what it looks like finished, you can always go to my Instagram which is Chrissy's Corner, the number four collectors. And um, I post pictures sometimes of um, my projects and when I'm finished with them. So this will be on there and it will be at the uh, Summer Ween sale that Young Star and I, along with Kraken, are gonna be doing in August. We'll have a whole bunch of things to sell that are Halloween themed. And um, so I'm going to save this for then to sell it. But keep your eye out for other projects that I'll be doing. I don't know that I'll do videos on them because again, this is very time consuming to do this video. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big content person. I'm not. Uh, I'm not looking to make my new career a YouTube star. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is the last thing I'm going to do is make those little indents on the blade. So I'm just going to push down, push down, all the way up the blade, and then on this side. And this, I think, is going to be kind of leaning against one of the heads, so I don't have to worry about the back of it being done. Okay, it kind of looks neat. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not meant to be perfect. So once this dries on the plexiglass, I'll take a string and pull it up underneath it, and that should release it right away. And, um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen with that. So I'll put that to the side so that can dry up here. Hopefully nobody will touch it. And then, um, if you can see this, these tree trunks that the heads are on were made with, um, the same kind of clay. So once it hardens and I painted it. Now, I'm gonna make something for their necks. Like a, um, like maybe like a ceremonial necklace kind of thing. Um, but I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I want like material that I can cut. So I gotta look through my material to see what I have. As far as their faces go, 
nothing else is going to happen. I may mod podge them. In fact, I might mod podge them now just so that it, they kind of had like a little bit of a, I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to mod podge them or do I want them to be that plain and matte looking. I'm not sure. But I think they came out really good. I'm really happy with them. And again, I just need to finish their hair and then they're pretty much done except for that necklace. And what I mean by a necklace, hmm, I don't have any string here, but um, get this out of the way here. Like, if I take a piece of this, it's so rigid. It's just like I was thinking that maybe I would make something that went around their necks kind of like this. I think so. But I want it to be with some kind of like a material, but I want it to look like a island material. So I might have to go to Joanne's for a little ride and see what happens. Guys, keep your eye out on Instagram for the finished product. I hope you enjoyed watching me and create and figure out what I'm going to do with stuff. Um, once this is finished, the dome will go back on top of it. Just like that. And that's what the end product's going to be. And then you could put it out for Halloween. You can leave it out all year if you want. <laughs> Who cares? Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you stop in on the early bird sale on mo Sunday mornings with Young Star Girl. And sometimes guests. And uh, have a great weekend. Bye, guys.